as a theme park employee, I got to bless a lot of people. But there were several times that my family and I were also blessed as well. One of the things that I absolutely love about visiting theme parks in addition to working at them is just the incredible atmosphere that's created by employees wanting to bless and make the day of the people visiting the parks. I've been on the receiving end of that a couple times that were especially noteworthy. Once at Walt Disney World, once at Disneyland, and even by an unofficial cast member in Brian Hull. The first one was actually our very first time at a Walt Disney World park. My kids and I had actually been in the park early filming a commercial for Expedition Everest, and I tell that story in another video. But after we were all done filming in the morning, they allowed us to basically go free in the park for the rest of the day and enjoy it. Which for us was an awesome thing because we had never been to any of the Walt Disney World parks. And here we are at Animal Kingdom for the first time. So my kids and I were actually waiting for the parade. Yes, they actually used to have parades in Animal Kingdom back then. Excited, we've been having a lot of fun. We've been checking out the rides and the animals. And as we're waiting, my kids are sitting on a planner. So my daughter actually starts reaching into the planner and pulling out the twigs and the leaves and she starts taking all of this stuff and actually putting it all together into a little flag while they're walking up and down the walkway to make sure it's clear amber starts holding this little flag up and going yay disney yay disney one of the managers who was actually walking up and down the street saw her doing this it was just really touched by it i guess and he came over wanted to ask who she was where she was from love the flag and can i trade you for the flag go you know, well it's just twigs and she's no i'll give you one of my pins and actually let my daughter pick one of her pins off of her lanyard and traded her for the flag telling her that when she got back she was going to put it up in her office now i can't imagine it's still in her office for a nine ten year old that was just a really cool moment she was just entertaining herself and she gets a real disney pin for it and that was normal for disney cast members it, just a really cool thing and it really showed up when we were at disneyland recently this is our first time back at disneyland in 15 years and their first time as adults and we were on a really limited budget but amber really wanted to get a couple of things on this trip and as we were walking around in new orleans square our first day in disneyland we came across the dress shop there. Now she really loves the 50 style dresses with the petticoats and just absolutely loves that look. And she sees this shop filled with these dresses and is going, oh my goodness, I really want one of these. And then she sees the prices where they start off at $90 and go up from there. But she really loves the one based on red in Pirates of the Caribbean. Absolutely loves that dress. It has to kind of figure out how she's going to do this because money's limited. So we figure we will wait till the end of the trip, the last day of the trip. We know we'll be in Disneyland. We'll see how much money she has. We know she's going to meet up with a couple family members and, you know, maybe we can work some things out because I don't have anything I can give her either. Well, over the course of the next few days, we were blessed by a couple of our viewers, ended up with more spending money than we thought so we knew then that we had money to be able to cover this dress which was really cool because it was completely unexpected so now we're kind of thinking okay we know we're going to be able to get the dress now now we got to make sure that we can actually get over there and get it as we're walking around on our day off we head over to downtown disney and find out they have a dress shop there as well look there's your dresses you need to come over and take a look because amber was actually at the hotel so amber comes over looks at the dress and goes they've got my dress and starts going through the rack and realizing they don't have her dress the only sizes that they have in this dress is from large and up and amber's small to extra small so there's no dresses there so she's coming kind of, well all right so we walk over and we ask a cast member yo hey do you by chance have any more in the back no we don't we started a process with the cast member we went, well can you check and she checked the park they didn't have any in their shop that were actually smaller than large we looked online they're not selling them there the cast member did a wonderful job trying to look around seeing if there was another place to get this dress in her size and there wasn't walt disney world didn't have them so amber was kind of like well phooey finally saw a dress i really really wanted and i'm not gonna be able to get it so she's actually looking at a couple other dresses that she likes but not quite as well and as i'm waiting for her while she's trying them on i just wander over to the mannequin and just for kicks check the size tag on it and it's an extra small that's the size she needs. 
So they're completely out of it otherwise. So I walk over to the cast member and I am fully expecting to get a no when I ask, hey, the mannequin has one that's an extra small. Can she try that one? Yeah, fully expecting a no. The cast member looks at me and says, I wish I could. I'd love to let you. But other people have asked and we've had to tell them no. But I'll call my manager anyways and just see. But I don't expect it. I'm not expecting it to happen. I'm not saying anything at all to my daughter. And she's on the phone. And the cast member, while talking to the manager, looks at me and goes, They said yes. So they actually go and they get the mannequin out of the window, pull the dress off of it, give it to my daughter to try on. It's a perfect fit. And we're just, oh my goodness, she's going to get her dress. Being in the window, it did have a slight bit of sun fading, but because of the way the dress ripples, it actually blends in and looks like a really nice effect with it. Amber has her dress thanks to the cast members. A dress she couldn't get, they were out of and didn't have. And she gets it. And that was just a really cool moment when the cast member went above and beyond because they didn't have to call their manager. They know they've been told no before, but they went ahead and tried it anyways. And we were able to get the dress. That was just a really cool moment between the cast member and the people that had given and offered gifts to her. And that was just really cool. And as we walked out of downtown Disney, taking the dress back to the hotel, I have to say, daddy was strutting just a little bit because, yeah, his little girl had been taken care of. It was a really neat moment as the trip. That actually wasn't the best moment of that particular trip, though. And it involved somebody who some of us think of as a Disney cast member, even though he's really not an official Disney cast member, and that's Brian Hull. Now, if you have not seen Brian Hull's videos, you need to go check him out. The man is incredible with the voices that he does and the Disney imitations. You may know him from doing the Disney characters all doing Let It Go, which is amazing. Well, I have a niece who lives in Maryland who is autistic, and as she was turning 13, she was blessed with this incredible trip to go down to Hollywood. Now, she loves animation, she loves drawing, she loves creating stories, and this trip involved her going to several of the movie studios, talking with the movie animators, visiting Disneyland, visiting Universal Studios, and just a really cool trip for somebody who loves all of that. Well, while there, they met up with more family, including her cousins and aunt and uncle, and they all found out about this event at a church where Brian Hull is actually performing with Tony Bancroft, who worked on Lion King and several other Disney movies as well. And they thought this would be totally cool for her. It's animation and voices. And, and so they take her to it, only to find out as they're getting into it that they're actually going to show the whole Lion King movie, which is an awesome movie, but because of the emotion and everything involved, it is actually one of my niece's trigger movies. And her autism tends to kick in very hard, and it overwhelms her, and she can't handle that. While the rest of them are staying in to watch the movie she has to go outside with her aunt try to gain control try to calm down try to not be overwhelmed which happens and she finally relaxes a little bit but she can't go back in to watch the movie it's just not gonna happen and so she actually goes into one of the nursing mother rooms with her aunt to wait out the movie to be able to do some things and enjoy and not be able to have to worry about what's going on after the movie was over the girl's mom went up and talked to Brian and said, you know, hey, my daughter's in the back and a little overwhelmed. And, well, let me let Brian share what happened. I do got to say thank you so much again for my niece. Oh, uh, it, it was funny. Uh, for the people who don't know, uh, my niece is autistic, uh, lives out in Maryland. And she was out in L.A. Uh, for a week for her 13th adventure. And as part of it, she happened to run into Brian at a big event where he was doing Lion King stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like Tony Bancroft who created yep. was there doing a whole spiel. And what they didn't realize was that Lion King is one of her triggers. Oh. So she freaked because it was Lion King. Um, and ended up uh, at the facility they had, they actually had a nursing mother's room. So she went, she'd gone outside for a little bit, having her overload. And then had gone into the nursing mother's room, and I guess that's where you found her. Right. Uh, her mom came out to me uh, after the show was over. And so the show was like, me and Tony came on and did some stuff up front, and then we played The Lion King for everyone at watched. Mm -hmm. So when the movie started, her mom came up to me and just said, hey, uh, my daughter would really love to meet you, but she can't be out in all uh, uh, this. It's too much stimulation for her. Mm -hmm. and it really would bother her. So can you come meet her in the back? So I said, sure. 
So we go back there and we have a good time. And she absolutely loved you to the point where uh, with the picture, I actually got a note from her saying, that is my Brian. <laughs> I'm like, well, I actually can claim it before you. <laughs> so let's just say that this was a really cool encounter for my niece, especially when she found out that Brian could do all these voices and she kept asking him to do more voices, especially Goofy. She loved Goofy and kept asking Brian to do different things as Goofy. She absolutely was completely blessed by Brian coming in and spending some personal time with her. The funny thing was... Brian had no idea it was my niece, and I've been a patron of his for a while. Once he found out afterwards that that was my niece, I was kind of like, wow, that was really cool. I had no idea. I had no idea he was doing it either, but when she sent me the picture, I was like, yep, that's Brian. Brian is just an amazing guy. Really, he's pretty typical of what you can expect from all sorts of people that work in the parks. Brian absolutely blessed not just my niece, but my whole family with that kind of moment. That was one of the things I used to love to do in the parks and I love when I watch it happen. I know we're entering the holiday season right now and so this is one thing I would ask you to do is keep your eyes open to those around you. Keep the spirit of giving. Maybe not things, but giving of yourself, your time, your talents, your patience, your kindness. And it'll help everybody have a wonderfully blessed holiday season like I hope you do as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about Patreon and supporting me and the perks that patrons get, be sure to check out the link down below in the description or at the end of the video. There's also a lot more in the description as well as far as merchandise and links and other stuff as well, as well as my fan pages. So don't forget to check those out. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed holiday season and thank you so very much for watching. All right, this is Park Tales, cast members blessing others. I forgot a light. And I've been on the receiving at, and, yeah. <laughs> but after we were done, we were able to go out and explore the park for the rest of the day. Oh my goodness.